Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing out there today? It is about 7 in the morning right now, and I'm going to head out the door here and go get this day started. Today, here in our area, is a scheduled brownout day. Yep, scheduled brownout day. So, uh, everybody around is going to be without power, but you see us, boom. And it's already brown out. They turned it off at 6 a.m. this morning. So once again, you know, every time I hear that, it makes me so happy that we're still here going. There's my TV sitting here going. You know, we're running here on that solar. Our refrigerator is always still going. Um, it's just such a blessing to have this system right here. Today is a scheduled brownout for the next uh, 12 hours from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the whole community next door. Um, like I say, it is really a blessing to have this system. Um, it'll be a bigger blessing when my new batteries arrive here really soon always excited about the solar without a doubt it um is a big blessing here for real you're wondering why i'm changing the batteries like okay your system's working you know what what's the problem you show it working and what is the big deal on the batteries then well here is what happened we uh we had to flee out here last march right on just a moment's notice I mean or we were gonna be stuck here in the Philippines like many were for a long while and that would have wreaked a financial mess on Mel and I back home in Texas because we had a lot of responsibilities going on rent houses uh, some things with my my late brothers at state just our cattle just things in general so we had to get out of here and uh, I did not have my panels fastened down good because we were doing this build, so they were just lightly tied up on the roof. Enough to deal with a light storm if I was here to watch after them. But not no uh, withstand typhoon force winds, and they weren't mounted just like they're still not into their permanent position because they'll be up on the house of fixed place for them once we finish this build. So... I made a decision just to yank all the panels down, store them inside the house, and we had no power here, no security or nothing for the whole time we ended up out of the Philippines. Now, being in such a rush, because we just had a short while to get to the airport and get on the last plane off the island until later on, they did some sweeper flights, which was really hard to get on, and you had to go through a bunch of hoops. Um, I didn't leave any way at all for my batteries to charge. If I'd had more time, I would have even took those small panels that I have and reconfigured my batteries and used those small panels like a tender or something, you know. But it was just, boom, we had to get out of here. Well, then we never imagined that we were going to be gone eight and a half months. I mean, that was the first time in 16 years that I had been out of the Philippines that long usually three months maybe four max and we're back here well what happened then is that the batteries did not ever get a charge the plates can corrode the acids separate and settle down where um, everything messes up let's just say that it kills the batteries let's just put it in layman's term it kills the batteries and uh, I got back here I hooked all the system up and I was getting some faults everything turned on they still had some power I come in turn the inverter on and uh, for about the first two days everything seemed okay then I noticed that it wasn't holding as much power as what it did so I knew something was wrong and I went out and uh, 
started testing the batteries and some of them were drawing down some were good good morning some were good and some were bad and i tried to revive them um was successful on a couple but some i was not so it lowered down the battery bank of usable power for storage that i had here um that was a problem with lead acid right there that was a problem and uh Yep, it killed a couple. Uh, this battery's got dirty sitting outside here, us working. But this is one of them that it killed right here. Um, like I say, it wasn't dirty like that before. That's because it's been sitting out of the battery box and these guys here working. But that battery is dead. And I've got another one sitting out that's dead. Um, I think it killed three in total and because I need to configure this on 24 volt that left one odd one and so uh, you might as well say four are out of play it also got my battery on my boat I also got one of the batteries on my truck one didn't and one did you know it's just odd how that happens they're both on the same vehicle hook same cables everything um, but one battery it was uh, no good anymore on my truck and the other battery was just fine so nevertheless this is why I'm trying to migrate away from being dependent on that lead acid then the next thing is that uh, the lead acid well if you were here with them all the time and um, you can maintain the water level and keep an eye on that that would probably be really good. And another reason I didn't want to leave it connected and us being abroad is I had nobody here that I could count on to check the water levels in those batteries. So like us being gone for eight and a half months, let's say I left the solar going that whole time, well definitely in that eight and a half months, the water would have need to been topped off with distilled water on top of those cells there and uh this these particular batteries don't have much of a space over the top of the cells um to hold a whole lot in there so if it if it boils off or evaporates off too much um then there you go now i know that's all water under the bridge now pun intended <laughs> uh, but with the remaining batteries i still have that are good and it's carrying us now just can't carry us as far as we could before I'm gonna put those onto their own system with those three smaller panels I have tending a small battery bank running a MPPT charge controller I have from Renogy with a 3000 watt inverter that I brought from the US that I've had for many years and it puts out 110 volt and that'll give me a way to use some of my 110 power tools here without using a step down transformer I can and I have one now that I use but I'm limited on how much I can do with it and um, the bigger the tools and the more you're hooking up the bigger step down transformer you're gonna need and they're pricey here for those big ones they're bulky and I've had a couple of them burn up, so I'm not gonna waste no more money on that. So that's the, the deal with that. And that's why I'm excited to upgrade my batteries to lithium. And um, hopefully, before we leave this time, my panels will be set. If I don't have them all set in their permanent location, I'll have a few set, and I will leave the system running this time when we leave for the security for everything, you know, so. Um, different story this time yeah I'm not gonna just get plucked out of here like we did the previous trip well that is what's happening there and I just want to explain that and maybe that'll help a few of you out um, pretty excited about these batteries coming in because it was just not long ago it was so hard to source any batteries here I still didn't buy these in the Philippines I bought them in China, but this Chinese company is working with a partner here on a, a shipping firm in the Philippines. 
that knows the laws correctly, knows how to enforce them correctly. And solar product is supposed to get a pass on the duty fees with a law that they have passed here trying to promote solar energy here in this country. Um, when I've had some other stuff shipped in, customs tried to gig me, and one time they did, and hitting me for taxes that I shouldn't have to pay. Even I sent the law over to them, and they, they held me like ransom. Makes me wonder if that money even went in the customs pocket, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But this company I'm dealing with out of China, they have a global partner in shipping that knows how to handle every bit of it and get to your door. And they guaranteed me, and I've talked to the shipper too, that there is no uh, duty fee going to fall on me on that. So that is another improvement and a big blessing. I'll let y'all know how those batteries are when they come in. We'll do a review.